Hi, it's Dave with Dave's TR4. Hey, thanks for coming back to my channel. I uh, got another, just a quick update on my overdrive control. Here's the next to the final version of the control uh, mounted in the box. I kind of hogged out a, a, a cutout here for the wires to go through, but I'll be sending a print to the, the case manufacturer that'll have the cutout dimension on that, so I'll be able to get it when it's got the holes in it already. And also, this is the top cover. There'll be three holes here for the, the LEDs. Um, you can see I, <laughs> I'm not really good at this stuff. But again, this will have a drawing of the top cover that'll go off to the case manufacturer, and they'll drill the holes for me and uh, get it ready to go. Here's the uh, final circuit board. The field testing is complete and very successful. The guy testing it, testing the uh, the the control said it worked perfectly in his car, and uh, uh, so I'm going to take that as a success. And <laughs> we're going to go ahead and wrap up the the design here. I did make one couple small changes. One is I have a selector here for configuring the output relay for a J-type or an A-type overdrive, and it's, it's a three-position plug or terminal, and you put a, a little shunt, it's like a two-pin connector, that you can slide over two of the pins, so if you go from the middle pin to the top pin, it'll drive a J-type solenoid, and if you put the jumper shunt between the middle pin and the bottom pin, it'll drive a uh, A-type overdrive relay. So. That's the only functional change. And then I also added this, it's called a TVS. This, this is a uh, current limiting device going on the um, output of the relay to the overdrive solenoid. What that'll do is clamp current, uh, excess of current that's coming back from when the uh, magnetic field collapses on the solenoid. It's gonna, re it's gonna reflect current back through the line to the relay and uh, that can potentially damage the relay contacts so uh, this device will protect the relay from that and basically just clamps the current and the voltage uh, coming back so anyway uh, the board is i'm going to call the board done uh, the next video that i'm going to show will be uh, about the wiring we'll just wrap this up here i have one more thing to talk about but that'll be it thank you Well, I just wanted to remind everybody that I do offer a rebuild service for uh, voltage stabilizers. There's two different versions. One is the earlier trapezoid style case that has all male pins. Again, these are negative. These are both negative ground voltage stabilizers. I, I do make a positive ground, but I, I think I've only sold about two or three of them in the last two years. Is, uh, most people that have a TR4 will convert the car to a, from a generator to an alternator, so they'll have a negative ground. So anyway, there's the trapezoid style, and then I also have the uh, conventional TR6 style voltage stabilizer with two male pins for the battery and two female pins for the instruments. I can either uh, rebuild a MOS style unit, the newer metal can, or the older style. What, what I'll do is... If I have them in stock, I can usually just ship you one and it's rebuilt. And then you just, when you install that one, you just send me the old one back because I need the cases for the, uh, to continue uh, rebuilding these, these uh, devices. So anyway, the cost is uh, $55. That includes shipping. And um, just uh, send me an email at deconit at gmail.com. And in the subject, put voltage stabilizer, and I'll get back to you. That's it for now. Please like and subscribe.